There's been a ton of activity in the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. Most importantly, as I mentioned in the previous update, Andrew Cornelia, the CEO of the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network, did an interview on the Coast to Coast uh, live stream hosted by Steve at the Plug and Play YouTube channel and Eric Way of the News Coulomb channel, where for an hour, Mr. Cornelia was very candid with the network's intentions, their existing stations, and how they were in the process of learning and adjusting pricing, as well as what their future plans were. And if you haven't had a chance to see that interview, I'll link it down below in the description. If you're interested in this project, it's definitely worth going and checking that out. Uh, tons of information directly from the CEO. <clears throat> a couple of bullets that I extracted from that interview. Uh, 2,500 stalls by 2027 with a financial commitment of $1 billion. And as you'll see in the next slide, this corresponds to the Hakio Schmidt's uh, interview previous. So the story is staying the same and they're just in the process of executing. There's no reason to believe that they're not going to actually follow through with all these announced intentions. We've learned additionally 15 locations for a space of 150 miles on the Interstate 5 corridor with some of those stations being live by the end of this year going all the way into California and I believe up in Washington and Oregon as well. Beyond the Simon Mall partnership and Bucky's, there was mention in the interview of placing stations near airports and other commercial partnerships. Uh, it was called out that in the southeast, one of the largest farmer markets was going to be the location of one of their stations. And in this past batch of stations that opened, one of them is immediately adjacent to an airport. Now, in the interview, Mr. Cornelius is um, mentioning a station next to a very large airport. So it's not the one that just opened. The one that just opened is in Charleston, South, South Carolina, which is a pretty small airport, but it is immediately adjacent to the airport in a non-Simon Mall location. So likely what we're going to expect in additional airport locations is very similar to what we're currently seeing at the Charleston, South Carolina location, which I'll show at the uh, as we uh, proceed through these slides. Other locations that highlight what you do while you charge concept. Now, apparently the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network team is uh, doing focus groups on what an EV charging customer would want as amenities um, and then trying to place their station near these uh, amenities. And I don't think the list is short. I think they're they're creatively thinking multiple different options like dog parks is one of the ones that was mentioned. Um, shopping and obviously restrooms, things like that um, are on the short list. But um, I think they're open to all kinds of things now. It used to just be Bucky's was the sole place they were plopping these stations. But now they've expanded into Simon Mall. And uh, the Starbucks thing is coming at some point in the not too distant future with some of those live by the end of the year. And um, then just, you know, the sky's the limit. Basically, anywhere they feel as though the station is uh, called for with appropriate amenities for someone who is charging an electric vehicle for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it may be. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see how this network starts to unfold. <clears throat> Welcome pricing is continuing. Um, and Mr. Cornelia mentioned that this is their knock on the door phase where they're trying to introduce themselves and so the pricing is trying to attract people to come into the network with attractive low cost charging and trying to attract people to say you know come and you know feel the stations out you know try them out see if you like them we're here we're trying to do a brand distinction with our charging stations we believe you'll like them mercedes is known for quality and we believe we've carried that legacy into our charging network Plug-in charge also was specifically mentioned that uh, Mr. Cornelius says it's the future of the industry. And currently at these stations, Mercedes-Benz owners are able to use plug-in charge with the remainder of vehicle brands coming as they're able to perform the integration. And quickly looking at the previous information from the interview with Hakio Schmidt, the uh, VP at Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging, very similar. The 2,500 stalls is right there. And talking about uh, 2027, right down here, two years from now. And <clears throat> so these two gentlemen are speaking the same from the same script. And by all intents and purposes, uh, they're following through on what they're saying they were going to do. 
This is the I-5 corridor, which as we're understanding, uh, some of these stations will be open before the end of this year, with additional, uh, a total of 15 being targeted um, every 150 miles, is what w was conveyed in the interview. Introductory pricing, again, the knock on the door phase of the network at uh, there's more locations, and I'll show all the pricing at all the different locations on the next slide, but this is what was being referred to in that portion of the interview, is the welcome pricing trying to attract people to come and try out the chargers at a discounted rate. So here is every station that is currently open. The three new ones are Katy, Texas, North Charleston, South Carolina. This is the one that's near the airport, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, all of them are 10 stalls, and as you can see, the price is all 40 cents or below 36 cents at these other two locations. Now, I think the um, gross price that they um, charge people is 40 cents for the welcome pricing, so I think this 36 pricing will have some additional taxes tacked onto it in order to make it an even 40 cents once you do the uh, final checkout, 40 cents per kilowatt hour. Pausing here for a second. The coming soon map has uh, no new pips. We have identified some locations, which I'll show on the next slide in PlugShare. They've been uncovered. We thought this one up here in Colorado was going to be at a Bucky's. It is not. It's actually at a uh, boot barn near a Tangiers outlet. And that would be this one right here in Thornton, Colorado. And the PlugShare ID is listed right here. Uh, let's see what other ones. I think. Lee, Massachusetts is now a known location. It wasn't last time. And the other ones I think were all known. We have some pictures now. So let's go over the new locations that are opened and the updated pictures for the coming soon locations that we have spotting for. Gaffney was on the last update. It's just such a pretty place. I've been there, so decided to leave it on for one more cycle of update. This is the North Charleston, and as you can see, the North Char the Charleston International Airport is just on the other side of 526 from where this station is, so very close to the airport. So likely going to be used by rideshare people along with the people going to the coast on Interstate 26. For people who are not aware of the southeast, Charleston is a very common destination for people in Atlanta metropolitan to head to the beach, and so a lot of people end up here in Charleston. CBL Properties, again, a non-Simon Mall property location in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We see them branching out. This shows a wrench icon, but it is actually open. And this picture is before it was open, still with the construction tape up, but it is now showing open. Katy, Texas, now open. We see a Mercedes charging there at a Bucky's. Madisonville, Texas, is open. This shows a wrench icon also, but this is an actual open location and EV Texans Scarlet Knight Chevrolet Blazer pictured there. Always nice to see it. Much appreciated for their spotting efforts. This is the one in Colorado. As I mentioned, um, we thought it was going to be at a Bucky's, but it turns out it's been now officially spotted and uh, it's in a small strip mall just to the north of Tangiers Outlet, which is the bigger discount mall, uh, basically in the same property, same exit of the interstate. Round Rocks, Texas is a Simon Mall property and it has been spotted. And as you can see, very similar type of design with the posts offering Wi-Fi and illumination as you approach at evening and also state of charge indication within those uh, little uh, discs of light going up the pillar. No change here in Denton. It's not open, but we do know it's under construction. And actually, just recently, PlugShare locations were taken over by Mercedes-Benz, and it looks like they wiped the pictures in doing so. So the pictures I have here are not are no longer in PlugShare. We're going to have to wait for new spotters to show up and repopulate. This is Terrell, Texas. Uh, this picture no longer exists in PlugShare, but it is still close to being completed. Hillsboro, Texas, again, pictures wiped from PlugShare, but very likely close to being opened. South Windsor, Connecticut. This one has chargers in the ground. Thank you, Steve, for spotting this one for us. First one in the Northeast. Greensboro, Greensboro North Carolina at the Friendly Center. I did a video of this posted to the Autospec Bits channel. I'll feel, 
I'll uh, post that down below in the uh, description if anyone wishes to go see this site in video form. It's right adjacent to the local Apple store. Delray Beach, Florida, down here in the southern portion of the state of Florida, getting close to opening as we could see. See a very common station design taking form here with the uh, posts, the Alpitronics, and mixed bag between uh, J3400 and CCS1. This one is south of Tampa in Ellington Premium Outlets. Riverview, Florida is basically in Tampa proper, uh, not quite, but very close to Tampa. And that's the update we have for this time. Tons of activity going on. Very likely the next time we do an update, it will include some spotted locations on Interstate 5, either in Washington, Oregon, or California. Thanks for watching.